What is going on guys, Bisectatron here, bringing you today's video and back with a live attack. Been a while, let's take a look at the base, get right into it here. This is a cleanup hit, number 31 from this friendly war we got going on. And um, you can go ahead and take a look at the base and take a look at the plan I'm trying to improve upon. Um, you can see it was a uh, little super witch type deal. Gonna change it up a little bit, but gonna definitely you know, use a few components of this attack, and I'll go ahead and go times two. You guys can see how it went, just, um, you know, good setup, everything was okay, just the eagle, and there was so much stuff on the back end, just too much uh, for these troops to handle. But um, I was thinking before this video, it's been a while since I've done a live attack. Um, I haven't even done an, any type of war attack in a couple months. This is my first one in uh, probably since, you know, back in the fall sometime, and also, um, I haven't recorded a live attack video, I looked it up, since December of 2020, so it's been over a year um, since we've done one of these live attacks, hoping to get back on it. I have to go through and maybe like try to tally what percentage I'm at. I hope I'm above 50% in terms of 3-starring on these attacks. Um, anyway though, let's focus on this one. You can see, like I said, the Super Witches you know, gutted the middle of the base, actually got the Eagle down with that nice uh, second jump, but weren't able to, uh, to finish off the base. Lots of Teslas, damage on the back end. Um, so we're gonna try to mix it up here. Um, you can see the troops just kind of peter out towards the end. We're gonna try to mix it up and um, do a little bit of a different attack. So let me go ahead and hop over to my Udoodle uh, annotation app and just real quick in a minute or two, go through my plan, what I'm changing. Um, let me get a brush size that is a little bit better. Go down to that. Okay. So, um, I'm going to come at the eagle side. There's a lot of damage there. I want to get that taken out early. Town Hall, a little bit less of an issue, I feel like. So, going to do a little Warden Walk here. Um, start the Warden with four healers. Uh, just the Archer Tower will be in range. Drop down a Wizard, probably a Sneaky Goblin and a Wizard. Speed it up as much as possible. You guys know I love saving time. Gonna do four quakes here with the earthquake, take out that inferno. Um, maybe the builder's huts and the, the king altar as well. As that's going, gonna drop down my queen and try to get like a little healer switch going on. A little risky, I know it's my first attack in a long time and I'm trying to do a healer switch with four healers, um, but gonna go for it. We'll see what happens. Um, I'm, I'm hopeful it'll work. <laughs> Uh, so this queen will switch. She should, you know, nothing's gonna pull her. Should walk this way. Pretty sure the king's not gonna engage her. Obviously the CC is too far away, so it should be okay with her not taking too much damage. As that's developing, gonna drop down uh, four witches here, ice golem, uh, probably a, another sneaky goblin, and maybe another wizard, and my king, kind of all here. Gonna take on these Teslas, get them down fast. Um, drop down, I have some four P.E.K.K.A.s, I have some bowlers, um, just kind of a nice P.E.K.K.A. bowler spam type attack. Two sneaky wall breakers, or super wall breakers rather, hopefully they're sneaky, uh, to open up these walls and then a jump spell to get over that uh, air sweeper. Now obviously Town Hall's on the back end this time, so the plan is obviously um, the Warden should come around with, uh, and meet up with everything. Gonna drop down my Battle Blimp and um, the air sweeper should just be going down, so I'm going to be using the Warden's Tome to cover my troops and also cover cover the Battle Blimp and hopefully get it all the way to that Town Hall. Um, I believe I have three Rages. I'm not bringing a, a Poison spell for the Clan Castle troops. You saw it was a Hound Headhunter. Um, not really worth it, I think, because this way I can bring three Rages. Um, so I'm going to use two of them on my troops, one of them on the... Um, the two yetis, the sneaky goblin that are in the, the blimp. Hopefully they get all the way there, get the town hall down. Um, from there, it's pretty much just gonna be this inferno and I think should be able to handle one inferno. Not a whole lot of other back end damage. Now I'm hoping the king and the witches walk this way as opposed to go inside the base, you know. It's a little bit tricky because there's so much stuff in this area with the Teslas. It's hard to have a clean break, but I can do my best to have the Pekkas go in, bowlers go in, king and witches go to the outside, so. That's the plan, guys. Um, we'll see how it goes. It's It's been a while, so um, yeah, I don't know what to expect. Um, hopefully I'm not too rusty. Uh, I actually have a finger that is, I think I, I broke about a week ago, but it's pretty much healed. So um, deployment should be okay. Um, take a look at the troops real quick. Uh, 
Looks like I have everything. Got a couple of loons there to try to suss out any seeking air mines for both the healers and the blimp as we enter. Other than that, looks good, guys. I think we're good to go. I've gone over this plan in my head a t couple times and um, got the CC troops and everything, so I think we are good to enter. Okay, here we go. First time back. Let's see how it goes. Um, oops, not the replay. I want to go into scout view first to make sure this is the right base. Okay, looks like it is. Remember that first step, we have the warden, healers, few support troops, get on with the uh, um, lightning spells and then we're going with the queen. From there, just kind of setting everything up. So, get the troops down fast and, and purposefully. Okay, in we go. I drop the warden like right here. Just trip that archer tower, nothing else. Healers, wizard, sneaky goblin. Put down one more wiz in a sec. Let's get these lightnings down. Okay. Debating not even dropping the queen, to be honest, guys. I think I might be able to get away without doing it here. Yeah, I'm going to not drop the queen, just wait a little bit longer on her. And meanwhile, set up the other side, so. Didn't end up bringing the ice golem. Thought I had one. That's too bad. <laughs> okay, let's get these witches down and the king. Witches, king, put a bowler, wizard, sneaky goblin. Um, here's the pekkas. Rage down. Oops, forgot a sneaky wall breaker. We'll put another one down there. Um, poof, this is interesting. We'll see how this one shapes up, guys. Not looking great, but it's kind of hard to tell. Um, didn't drop those loons. I am a bit rusty, I will say. Get another one down there. Wizard. Looks like we auto queened ability. Yeah, not sure this one's going to pan out. Um, this was an unfortunate attack. I think, um, plan versus execution? Hard to say. Um, I mean, I do still have my queen in a minute, but yeah, this isn't going to pan out. Um, queen should go down in just a sec here, and then we're just going to be kind of scrapping at percentage points. Um, yeah, go ahead and drop the rest of this stuff. Doesn't really matter. So I think the you know plan is hard to say. Like I said, I'm a little bit out of step maybe, um, but I thought it, I thought it was solid. I think the execution just wasn't fantastic. Um, we'll take a look at the replay. You can go ahead and end this, um, you know, no point if it's not going to be any better than the first attack on it. So let's take a look at it, see what happened, and uh, see if we can learn anything from it. So to start, went ahead with the Warden walk. Um, the Warden had the Expo lock on to him, so, you know, I was thinking I'd drop my Queen down as a little switcheroo, decided not to. And I think that I suffered a little bit with the Warden's ability. He didn't really meet up with the P.E.K.K.A.s. It was a little bit disjointed this start. Um, didn't flow nicely into a nice push here. Probably should have just dropped down the P.E.K.K.A., let the Warden kind of retarget with him, let the healers lock on to the P.E.K.K.A.s. Um, just classic mistake there. Warden's on his own. Um, two defenses on him. He does survive quite a while uh, before we have to auto-tone. But it looks like he locked on to the King. I didn't even realize that. Um, fortunately, I think he'll retarget when the queen is dropped. But anyway, um, Pekka's taken some damage. Bowler's taken some heat as well from some of those giant bombs. I think those did, you know, took out half my bowlers right there. But the, you know, the king doing his thing on the outside. Uh, looks like I, I missed a, one of the wall breaks, and that was actually, I think, hurt me quite a bit because you can see 
The P.E.K.K.A.s stray off to the side and they're taking quite a bit of damage over there before the healers eventually switch on. Um, they kind of, if they had gone more directly in, I think we would have been a little better off. Everything going in at the same time would have soaked up that Inferno better, kept those witches alive, engaged the queen, just really taken that damage into the middle where I could have managed it better. Um, Hound came out late and just, you know, was going to suck up the queen's, um, her most powerful shots there. So just disjointed, you know, some pains of getting back into it. Did my best, and I hope you guys enjoyed the uh, the attack, learned a thing or two, and let me know if you want to see more live attacks. Going to try to do some wars on my Town Hall 12, if not my other accounts. So thanks for all the support, guys. As always, be sure to enter that creator code BISECT in your settings. Help me out um, by putting that creator code in. Really appreciate it. So that'll do it, and uh, yep, wasn't able to, to add to my... My successful three stars, but hopefully next time, and I'll see you guys then. Thanks for watching this video. If you enjoy my content, consider supporting the channel by entering my creator boost code, BISECT, in the settings tab of your game, and keep in mind it occasionally resets and must be re-entered. Click or tap for another video and be sure to subscribe. See you all next time, Bisectatron out.